Uh, speaking of Madame Web in Deep Phantom, let's get into it. I saw this movie, y'all. Uh, in a nutshell, because I'm going to get into spoilers, and I'm going to show you the only good scenes in the movie. I'm going to spoil it for y'all. I don't show trailers, but I can show you this shit because I got ways to get around it. You'll see in a minute. Hmm. Let me light this up. This, in a nutshell, my final verdict. This is a very good, shitty movie. That's the only way I can explain it. It's, uh, if you look at it from a nerd point of view, and you look about it knowing Spider-Man lore, Madam Web lore, these little girls and everything, this is ass. Uh, if you look at this as just a movie movie, and you realize that there's a lot of hot women in this, and the story is, like I said, if you don't look at this like a comic book nerd, it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. The dialogue is bad if you are a comic book nerd. Before I get into the scenes that I'm going to show you, I will explain why I mean by that because a lot of people are making memes about this. The dialogue is bad because they make references to Spider-Man movies. Like instead of saying, with great power comes responsibility, says, with responsibility eventually will come great power or some ass. Like they do it, do it the same, but they do it different. Like to try to leave a little ass like that. And it's just like, come on now. Uncle Ben is in this. I'll go into this a little further. But they say something to him like, oh yeah, like, like you've never been shot in Queens before. And I'm just like, oh my God, why would you write that in the movie? Like, we know he's going to get shot in the future when he's older. All right, this is where it can get bad, all right? Like, if you're a nerd and you know lore, this is a bad movie. If you're going into this to just see a movie, a popcorn flick, it's an entertaining movie. But let's get into it. I'll start with the origin of Madam Web and the explanation as to why anything is fucking happening. Apparently, Madam Web's mom was pregnant with a baby girl. And the doctor told her that her baby girl was going to be born with some kind of muscle dystrophy disease. Basically, she's going to be paralyzed. And she said, is there nothing we can do? And she says, well, our technology and science is not that advanced. I mean, there's people in South America that claim there's some spiders to researching and shit. And this lady's all like, what? Where? And so she decides to become some kind of scientist and goes to South America to find these magical spiders with healing powers or some ass. Yes. This has nothing to do with spider man. This is all magical ass shit. So apparently somewhere in the South American rainforest, there is a tribe of fucking indigenous fucking uh, white Mexicans because they're not brown people. They're white motherfuckers. A bunch of white Mexicans who have Spider-Man powers and they call themselves their little clan or, or tribe, the Arañas. And for those of you who are not Latinx, Latino, Chicano, Mexicano, or of that sort, uh, brown, that means spiders. They call themselves the spiders, the Arañas. And these men possess agility and superhuman strength and shit and, and they can poison people with their touch and shit and this the legends and the folklore say these people got it from getting bitten by spiders that live deep in the jungle and these spiders have you know powers and, and healing abilities and so this lady who wants her child to be born not paralyzed goes to go find these spiders and one of her companions is Ezekiel Sims. And Ezekiel Sims is basically uh, some guy who... And then you know what? 
They don't really explain why. But he's some guy who wants these, who's heard the same legends of these spiders with powers. And he wants the spider for to become rich, supposedly. And they don't explain why. They never. I'm, uh, I just realized that they never explain why. Why? Like, why? What is his motivation? He just wants them. This lady finally finds a spider and she's happy because she's going to cure diseases that have never been cancer and AIDS and all this ass shit. She's happy she found the spider. This fucker tells her, give me the spider. And he kills all these people and he shoots her and he runs away with the spider. So these arañas, these tribes of ancient fucking Aztec white Mexicans, because they're not Mexicans, they're not brown, they're white motherfuckers, show up. And they try to save her. And the way they think to save her is to let her get bitten by one of the magical spiders. And so then she starts convulsing and gives birth right there. And she gives birth to her baby girl who is Madam Webb. And the spiders made it so she's not paralyzed, my friends, of the disease they said she has. But because she got shot, they couldn't save her. And she's about to die from the gun wound. And the guy, the araña... The chief Aranya tells her, don't worry, when your child grows up, she'll come back here and I'll tell her everything she needs to know. No explanation as to what this guy did with the newborn baby. Did he walk into town and handed it over to the hospital? Did he give it to some, I mean, because he's dressed all weird with like weird like trees that look like spider webs all around him. He's half naked. Did he walk into town with a newborn baby and handed it to somebody at an orphanage and said, this is an American baby. You need to take back to America. Her name is Webb and Cassandra Webb. Is that what happened, Sony? Avery Averett? I don't know. Tell me. Because the movie doesn't explain. But that's the origin. As to why the fuck anything happened. So this guy. Name. Fucking. Uh, and I'm just going to play this in the background. So you can see all the cool scenes and shit. But this guy named Ezekiel Sims. Apparently. Because of this spider that he captured or whatever. He becomes super rich. And, and powerful. He makes a million dollars or some ass. He's an entrepreneur. No, man, they don't explain what he did with the spider. Apparently, you you come to believe that maybe the spider bit him because he has superpowers suddenly. He's this guy who has superpowers. And some of his superpowers, just like Madam Webb, is he sees into the future. And he has this recurring dream. And in the recurring dream, these little girls who are spider women, they fucking kill him. I'm showing you all the good scenes so you don't have to see the movie. I'll explain what all these scenes are. Don't worry. You might be like, what's going on? I'll explain to you in a minute. I'm telling you the story. So these spider women, he sees that in the future, they are spider women. They have powers and that they kill him. And that he dies in the future when he's old. He has gray hair and shit. And he says, I don't know when it happens, but I'm old. And these little, these girls have powers and they kill me. And he wants to know why. Like he wants to, he says, I'm not going to let this. I'm a millionaire. I've become rich because of the spider. I don't, they don't explain how or why or what he did. They just, all of a sudden he's rich. But he said, I'm not going to let these, this future apparitions destroy my legacy. So he, he goes and he fucks this lady that works for the government. And the lady that works for the government works for the NSA, National Security Agency. And, and this is back in the 90s when they barely had the technology for the internet. It barely got started and surveillance. And so he, he sleeps with her and kills her and he gets the passcode or whatever. And he break, they break him and his helper. He has a chick that is his helper. Who knows what happens to her because they don't explain. She just disappears from the movie. But anyways, she's like the guy in the chair. And he tells her, here's the password to the government. Now you have access to all the cameras, social securities, to everything, databases. This is, and I don't know, they don't explain how. These are the images of the girls I see in my dream. They don't explain how because the technology doesn't ex how the technology doesn't ex exist nowadays to take images from your dream and put them into a computer or a screen. 
right now in 2024 it doesn't even exist how the fuck does that technology exist in 1990 i don't know explain to me but somehow he has technology back then to put the images he sees in his dream onto a screen and he tells his helper find these girls through with with with, with the government agency with all the files and she looks and she goes well yeah but that means that they're teenagers and she finds little girls like they're teenagers little like 13 14 year olds and he's like and he's like i don't care one of these days they're gonna be old and they're gonna kill me like find all the cameras and find out where they're at and shit these are the stuff that's pissing me off i enjoyed the movie i'm not gonna lie there are sexy women in this and there's a lot of sexiness in this but Dakota Johnson is amazing and she's very lovable in this. And she plays a paramedic who was an orphan and never knew her mom, but is a paramedic. And her partner in, in the ambulance is Ben uh, uh, Ben Parker, Uncle Ben. And he just met a girl and her name is uh, May, May Parker. May Parker. May Parker has a sister-in-law who is Mary Parker, who just got married to May's brother, who is Richard Parker. All right, catch on. Those are Peter Parker's parents. Uncle Ben, those are the other parents. Peter Parker's dad is out of town while his mom is pregnant. They're throwing some kind of baby shower and he invites his friend from work, Madam Webb, to come to the baby shower of his fucking sister-in-law, which is Peter Parker's mom, who's pregnant with Peter Parker in her belly. And they're playing a stupid game in the fucking... They're playing a stupid game. Oh, I'm skipping around because I'm drunk and high. Madam Webb first gets her powers come out of her because there is some accident where... There's a car hanging from a ledge and they're paramedics. So they go there and they try to save a person, but the car falls off. She's in the car trying to save a person. They fall. They hit the fucking water. She hits her head on the glass and she drowns. Uncle Ben saves her with CPR. But when that happened, her powers were activated. And she kind of died and came back. And she got her powers there. Her powers is she sees the future before it happens. Maybe a minute or two, maybe five minutes, but she sees a little bit before it happens and she's able, if she's smart enough, to change it. At first, she isn't. This is what makes the movie cool. These are the cool parts of the movie. These are the good parts that I'm not even showing you here. She's, at first, is she, at first she thinks maybe this is something because I died and this is like a side effect or something. She didn't know why, but like, she sees somebody die and then it actually happens and she freaks out and then shit like that. A, a bird hits a glass and then like she's able to fix it. Shit like that. And she realizes this is not a side of, like this is something that I have. Like this is real. Shit. Um, it, some funny scene where they're trying to name the baby Peter Parker, but everybody's saying Richard Parker. They're saying different names. They And by the way, they never say Peter Parker. Never. They tease it, but they never say it. They tease it. But yeah, all this stuff happens. But basically, she's awkward because she didn't grow up with a mom or a dad. She was in an orphanage her whole life because some fucking spider guy from the Amazons took her into town. Didn't make any sense and brought her back to America to grow up over here by herself in an orphanage. She doesn't like kids and doesn't want to be a mom or any of that shit. All right. Doesn't want to. Um, Knowing Man was really good. Fucking Knowing was really good, Gomer. I love that fucking movie. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but the story moves on. She's in the train and she runs into these little girls and she sees the future that this fucking guy, because with the help of his friend, his little assistant, they use the cameras and all this. And they see the three, coincidentally, all three little girls are in the same train. And he goes, I'm going to go kill them. They don't explain why or how the fuck he even has a Spider-Man-like suit. Which makes no sense. I understand that maybe off screen he let the spider bite him. I don't know. They don't explain nothing. They don't explain nothing. This is all for you to make up in your head, I guess. Fuck you, Avery Avery. Fuck you, Sony. And fuck you, Amy Pascal, for not fucking making a cohesive story that makes sense. 
explanations and shit. Mi stuff is missing out of this, or that they didn't even bother to write it in. That's what pisses me off. When you're a comic book fan, you get pissed off. When you're a guy, when you're somebody who doesn't know shit about this, you can be okay with what you're watching on screen. She saves these little girls and they run away. And they run away with her. And the way what happens is one of the little girls at first, because she says, get out of the train, follow me, come with me now. And, and one of the little girls is all like, hey, what are you doing? Oh my God, she's trying to abduct us. And because of, and it's Sydney Sweeney who does that. And because of her, the cops hear, and they make a police report. And now the police report is that this fucking brunette kidnapped these three little girls. And that's why they're, she's stuck with them and they're stuck with her. Because they're all like, you idiots. Like, this guy's trying to kill you and shit. And I'm trying to save you and shit. Uh, but it's funny because, like I said, Dakota Johnson is phenomenal. These little girls are awesome in this. They, all the actors are good in, in, in what they're telling them to do. They're good in this. They're good in this. Um... And so Sydney, they, they have this relationship where, like, like I say, she didn't grow up with a mom or dad or none of this shit. And so she doesn't want children, doesn't want no part of families or nothing like that. But now she's stuck with these three teenagers. And then she finds out that all of them have basically been abandoned by their parents. And they're on their own. And so she's like, fuck. You know, she, she wants to leave them. But she can't because she starts feeling sorry because she's like, well, they're... They're kind of like me. But they're annoying because they're kids. And uh, in real life, Dakota Johnson in interviews has said, you know, they were annoying because we're a different generation. And they purposely were annoying to me because they knew that I was older than them. And they did stuff that annoyed me. He goes, I love them and I am like a big sister. But there was that generational gap. And in the movie, they show that a lot. And I, and I like that a lot in the movie. That's the fun parts in the movie, the way the girls are. And the girls all have, all three of them have different personalities. Sydney Sweeney, even though she's actually in real, she's in real life, she seems like the sluttiest one. In this one, she's the innocent one. And the other ones are trying to make her fucking more fucking to not be innocent and shit. So there's this funny dynamic to it and, and ass. Uh, uh, I kind of like that. Uncle Ben, like I said, is played by Adam Scott. Adam Scott, which is awesome in any, any... This guy is awesome in anything he does. He is Uncle Ben. Um, at the end of the movie, Sid... It's weird. Uh, uh, Madam Webb, uh, Dakota Johnson, she ends up going back to the rainforest to talk to the fucking... The fucking guy uh, from the from the origin. The fucking... The weird fucking guy. She goes back to talk to him and shit. Uh, but it's weird because... Um, she leaves the girls with Uncle Ben and shit and leaves to South America in the middle of the fucking movie. And even I was like, what? They're being chased by some guy that has technology that right now, that now is accessible to everyone. But back then was it? He has technology that wasn't accessible to everybody. He can track people, GPS and all that ass, cell phones, access any camera around. And you're leaving them in the city with your fucking friend and his pregnant fucking sister? Uh, I know it's all part of the story and plot points and shit. And she leaves to South America to go talk to the spider person who saved her mom so he can teach her about what her powers are and shit and where she comes from. Um, apparently her power is not only because she see the future, but as it's seen in some of these scenes that I'm showing here, uh, in a little bit, you'll see it. I'm sorry. Fast forward. Let me fast forward through this ass. But some of her fucking powers, apparently, is that she can fucking split herself into like three or four different places at once and help. Like all the girls at the end are all about to die and she's fighting the bad guy and she finally realizes her powers and she splits like astral projects, like three versions of herself. To save the girls and still fight the bad guy? And I'm all like, I don't think that's in the comic books at all. At all. I don't think that's in the fucking, the powers of Madam Web at all. Avery Averett is pulling shit out of his old 80 year old asshole with this ass. It just pissed me off because I was like, what is this? 
the bad guy falls and dies, supposedly. I don't know. They might make a sequel because it. Remember, in the future, they they fight them again. The girls when they have all their powers, all the scenes when the girls have their powers is all. They're not flashbacks. It's like visions from the future that the bad guy has, and it's like less than five minutes. All the cool stuff with their suits is less. It's less than five minutes, and it's in. Not flashbacks, is in future vision, the dreams that this guy keeps having at night of these girls that kill him. So this is happening in the future. So because this is happening in the future, this makes me feel like there's more movies to come because he's not dead. He's going to live. And in the future, when the girls, they don't get their powers in this movie. They don't. In the future, when the girls finally get their powers... They will finally fight him and we will see this if they ever make a sequel, which they won't because this movie only has made $20 million, I think. And that's like nothing to what these movies cost. All right. That's not catering for these fucking movies. Anyways, um, the sign falls on the bad guy and supposedly he dies. But at the same time, uh, she gets hit with this sign and falls along with him and she falls into the water and when she falls into the water the fucking one of the pieces of the sign hits her fucking face or eye and blinds her and then she drowns and dies again so there's a thing in this movie where in the middle of the movie when she's first now learning to be a mother figure to the girls she teaches them the only thing she knows because she doesn't know how to fight or anything. She teaches them how to fucking uh, something to help them. Because when if the guy, his powers is that also if he touches you, he poisons you. And the longer he holds on to you, the more poison gets onto you and you die. He did that to her, but he didn't hold on long enough where she survived. And she realized because she's a paramedic what the poison was and what it was doing to her heart. And so she told the girls, if he holds you long enough, he's going to stop your heartbeat and you're going to go into cardiac arrest. And she told them the only way to save you is to do CPR. And so there's a whole scene where she's teaching the little girls how to do CPR. All of them. And she kind of bonds with them and kind of becomes like their older sister. Like she's teaching them. She didn't like them at first and she starts liking them and when she's trying to now I'm protecting them. I'm saving them. They're my little sisters. They pull her out of the water. And they bring her back to life with the CPR she taught them. But like I said, the sign blinds her. And so at the end of the fucking movie, we finally see Madam Webb the way she is in the comic books where she's blind and paralyzed because the sign also fell on her and she fell into the water. She's blind and paralyzed. And now she's adopted the three little girls. They don't have powers yet. They haven't been bitten by no spiders. They don't have powers. But now she's adopted them. And she tells them like, I see the future and you guys are going to grow up to be great and, and, and defend people. And there's more visions here that I'm showing you of them fighting and shit. And if you notice, man, this is the fucking right here. I'm going to pause it right here. That's the guy who kills Uncle Ben from Spider-Man 2. They use some footage from, from uh, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 2. And I'm just wondering, what the fuck was Avery Averitt and Sony thinking when they make this movie to do that? That's the guy. I I, I, I might be wrong because, I'm I, I, like I said, I didn't pay for ass. I downloaded this, and this is what I downloaded. This might be, this looks like the guy from the Tobey Maguire movie who kills Uncle Ben and shit. Um, but she sees visions of them being great superheroes in the future. And she tells them, you guys are going to be great. Not only that, but I'm going to be there. I'm going to be your mentor and I'm going to be there by your side. And she sees the vision at the end. Here's the Punjamis doing their fucking come to our casino fucking advertisement. But you see her at the end with the girls and she's finally fully Madam Web floating with her sunglasses and ass and all of them are there and shit. And so this sort of sets up fucking part two. Which will never happen because this movie has made no money. And that's the truth.
which is why I tell you, this is a good, shitty movie. This is a very, very good potential, um, uh, what do they call them? Cult classics. Um, the critics are tearing it apart. The audience is tearing it apart. The critics tear everything apart that's sci-fi or superheroes. They do. So it doesn't matter what the critics think. But the audience is tearing it apart mostly because of the lies they fed you in the trailers. Because everybody thinks they're going to go into this seeing spider women in costumes fighting the whole movie. And you're not. There is less than five. I am showing you the spider women in the whole movie right now. I am showing you the spider women in the movie. That's it. You're not going to see anything else except for what I'm showing you. I, I, what you've seen in the trailer. The trailer shows you the movie. Basically. The trailer shows you the whole movie. There is nothing. The only thing that was not in the trailer is the goddamn origin. Um, That's it. The origin scenes is the only thing that is not in the trailer. 100%. Everything else is in the trailer shows the whole movie. There is nothing that you haven't seen already. And that's why the audience is pissed off. Because you fed them lies. You fed them something that they thought they were going to get. Women and being Spider-Man fighting crime. And that's not in the movie. That might be in the sequel. But the way it looks with the money... We're probably not getting a sequel. So. That's my verdict. It is a good. Shitty movie. If you're a comic book fan. This is bad. And you're going to hate it. Plain and simple. If you just go see it. To see a popcorn flick. You'll be entertained. You really will. It's not that bad. It's just not Spider-Man or Madam Web or anything to do with the goddamn comics. Except for some of the looks of it. So, yeah. That's that's pretty much it. Avery Averitt, I don't know why the fuck you're still employed at Sony. I know why Amy Pascal is there because she has money and she fronts money for these fucking pieces of ass. But between this, Morbius... And the coming Craven the Hunter. I don't see how the fuck they can continue to make these movies. I really don't. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe. And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.